they come door by door. People come in, boom, boom. So many, many soldiers around the house. I just jumped through the window and fell down outside the house in the garden. I just kept quiet there and I cannot, I cannot tell how many women were raped. Around four in the morning, they bombed the electrical line and power cut off. So it was dark, in the darkness. I passed through those soldiers, you know. I'm like a light for the village. And any enemy who comes in the village will see the light and say, how oh, I can break it. The women who actually raised me. Genetically, I'm not a pygmy, but my life, by my life, I'm a pygmy because I was raised in this village. These women, these women raised me. I remember these people taking me on their back, taking me in this village. As a conservationist, we are not only focusing on the forest and our life, but also on communities. People who destroy who are butchers in this forest comes from the villages, from these communities. We are providing these trees to communities so that they don't cut down trees in the park. The director took us in a school and said, hey, look at the trees you gave to us, and we cut them down to build this desk, and the students are now using them, and we were very, very happy to see that. This forest is everything. I'd say my life is based on this forest, and this is why I got shocked when people came and brought some truth to destroy what life is. That's a gorilla. Having it close to my house means for me that I am with them. Dominic Vicaba, conservationist. <laughs>